Hi everyone! This video is going to be a little bit different from the ones that I usually make. The last video that I posted mentioned all the things you can do in Genshin if you get bored or tired. I did mention my Serena teapot during the middle of the video, and I asked if you guys wanted a tour, and most of you said yes. I'm going to be making a little series called The Teapot Tales, where I show a few things from my teapot, build guides, or even stories, and I hope you enjoy the little series. It's going to be less focused on tips and guides, and more just about the relaxing side of Genshin and about the art of the teapot. I hope you enjoy the first video of the teapot tales, which is going to be the garden tour. I've never really given a tour of my teapot before, so I don't know how exactly this will go. First of all, I am in the realm Cool Isle, which is the Mondstadt themed realm, where you can get the Mondstadt main house. For this current island, my adeptal energy is 4240 and the load is already at its max. I made the theme sort of garden slash wedding aisle, so you will see a few wedding themes around here. This is mainly a roleplay teapot, so if anyone wanted to roleplay in the teapot or if I wanted to put companions or invite friends over, this is kind of what it's for. A lot of the furnishings I used are from Inazuma, such as this one here or the flowers. But some of it is also from Mondstadt and a little bit from Liyue. When Paimon was added to the teapot, I really wanted to add her, so I decided she will be right here in the center, ready to announce the vows. There's plenty of seating around here, but since we can only invite three other people and have a maximum of four people in co-op, a few of the seats might be empty. I have the anniversary lyre that you might have seen in my last video. I really love this one. It's so pretty, and also the music is amazing. The view looks really well during the day, but it is even better during the sunset. I've just changed the time so now it's sunset so you can overlook the beach and have a beautiful garden wedding. Here's what the build looks like when you are in the edit mode. If you are wondering how I put these buildings up really close and how I merged the furnishings together, I have a video called how to clip things in the serenity pot. If you don't know how to do that already and you'd like to learn, you may go ahead and watch that video. It's very, very simple. The boulders slowly combine together to create a beautiful cliff. I also have trees and buildings all over the place to make it really naturey. Here's what the place looks like at night if you wanted to see that too. I think the new Inazuma plants that were added look really beautiful at night time, and they're also really, really aesthetic. This garden took about an hour or so to make, and it's only just the beginning. I plan on making further builds and adding more furnishings to the realm. I still have plenty of islands to go to, and also the silken courtyard. There's still tons of possibility for my teapot, so it does not end right here. I'll be creating a lot more builds in all these different realms and doing tours for it. I hope you'll enjoy the Teapot Tales series, I can't wait to make further videos. If you like this one, just let me know, and if you request a video, I might possibly make it. For now, have a wonderful day, good luck on your rolls, and I'll see you next time. Bye!